Okay. So far, this is the only item from Dresslink that I'm really having a big issue with. And it is this green dress. Um, I ordered this in a medium. U.S. medium, so I want to say it was an Asian large. Not exactly sure, but I do know it was a U.S. medium. And really, my only problem with this is how short... The lining is. The lining is really, really short compared to the actual length of the dress. It doesn't cover up my ass in the back at all. It's too short in the front to be worn without leggings or tights or something. Even pantyhose, there would be no saving you in this. It's really sheer, but that's, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. And how thin it is it does have a few little picks in the material on the inside so that's not that's not terrible it did have a few strings that I had to cut off right there it has like a few loose threads but that's to be expected when you're mass producing something my biggest like issue and I don't know if you can see it because I'm using my front camera with this one but um so, it looks like that, but it's bunched up under this sheer fabric in two and three places. And you can see it through it. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to gently unstitch or snip out the lining so I can trim that off. Because it lights up like a Christmas tree when you have it on because it's a white thread. So, it shows up really, really bad. It is a little bit big under the arms. That's something else that I'm not happy with. Because I figured it would be tight up here. But it's not. It's just, it's really baggy under the arms. But you can see how small the waist is. And how baggy it is. It kind of poofs out here and there. I mean, it's not really a problem. But I just don't really care for it. Um, the waist is pretty stretchy. Since I'm so tall, it does hit me higher than my um, natural waist. It's higher than my natural waist, so it's like awkward feeling for me. But I am 6'2", so if you're short, none of this is going to be an issue. But um, if you're like 5'8", five 5'7", five maybe, or taller, I would definitely be concerned about the lining. I'm going to have to get... Oh, you can see my mermaid tail. I'm going to have to get a piece of fabric to add to it because I do like the dress on. It is it is still really pretty. It's not the exact color that they show you in the picture, which they say it's computer screens. It may not be the actual, it may not be their product that they're showing you the photo of. This is the belt. It's a lot smaller than it looks in the picture, but that's fine. I don't like for stuff anyway I like you know more classic simple things there is on this side it looks like there's small like m needle holes from the sewing machine and what happened was this had got stitched improperly and they took the stitches out and they reused the material and if you would get this from like a high-end shop they wouldn't do that but since it's a Asian wholesale site they will but yeah, I mean, it's still a really pretty dress, and I do really like it, but I'm going to have to get some material to make the lining longer. It's not as, like, poofy as it is in the picture, so what I would set, suggest doing is um, alter the lining if you have to, if you're going to buy this dress, and get, like, a, a light off-white or a white tulle skirt and place um, up under it. Because uh, it's actually not really connected in here. The outer shell is not connected to any of this part at all. It's like connected at the top and nowhere else. So this is separate. So what you could do is um, you can add on to this and then place like a tool skirt on top of the lining to make it poof more because you're not going to have enough room to tight too. Which I have big hips but 
it's it's still really small. Yeah, so that's that's the only issue that I'm really having so far out of that. That's the only thing I ordered from Dress Length. Um, that I, I was going to include it in my other haul, but I didn't get it in time. So I would be a little bit leery of their dresses. I've heard, you know, some of them are really good. I've heard some of them are bad. I did read the reviews on that one, so I kind of knew before I bought it that the lining was probably going to be too short, but I chanced it anyway because it was like five bucks for the dress and then like four shipping. So I was like, I'll gamble with ten bucks, you know, because I can sew a little bit. So I was like, you know, it's, it's material, it's clothing. For the most part, it can be worked with. That's that's the dress. Um, I'll put the link in the description box if you want to purchase this. I do suggest getting it for, it's good quality for the price. I mean, it's not, you know, a wonderful dress. I mean, it's not even like um, Belk quality or like JCPenney's quality or something like that. It's not that nice, not this one. But um, it's still a nice enough dress for 10 bucks, you know. And like I said, if you're shorter, you should have no problem. Like, if you're 5'5 five, five or down, you should have no problem with this dress as is. But, um, I'm 150 pounds right now, and I'm 6'2", and the medium, it, it would fit decent, but, you know, lining is the issue there. Alright, I think I'm gonna quit rambling now, and I'm gonna go. So, I hope this helps somebody if they want to order this dress, and I'm gonna go now. Bye! If anyone was wondering, this was the mermaid tail that I did not know was in the frame. And those are my Barbies that I've had since childhood.